Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and today I have an exciting Dollar Tree haul to share with you. Everything I picked up is brand new and only $1.25. Now I do take you to multiple Dollar Trees throughout the week so that I'm able to show you what is new and what to look out for. I try my best to link some of those down below so it's easier for you to find. Uh, so with all that, let's dive in and let me share with you on these amazing items. So I'm going to start off with this one. This is a 33.82 ounce bottle of Australian cleansing hand wash and it smells amazing. This is all natural ingredients, vegan, Australian made and cruelty free. There is a huge list of also of nose and this product right here. This is an amazing deal. I googled this when I was at the Dollar Tree and I'm like that's nice packaging and kind of a fancy look to it and I looked it up it's like 15 20 bucks at Walmart and that's like what? So I did pick up two bottles of this and this was over like by with the all the um, hand wash and body wash so keep an eye out for that bottle. They have a new storage container. It's not real sturdy, but for what I'm going to be using it for, it's perfect. It's by Storage Essentials. It's a refrigerator storage bin. It is a 12 by 6 by 3 and a half. You can always use it for something else. I'm using it for some of my crafts, and I did purchase this one that will go into my fridge. And I'm going to put all the different cheeses in there. So keep an eye out for this great deal for $1.25. They also have this new container. It's called a little plastic jar and it was with their bathroom stuff. But of course you can use it for other things. Let's see if I can get the lid off. Is that you LMA? Oh no, it's little Miss Ruby. Hi baby. Sorry, let's introduce you for those that don't know. This is Ruby, my 15, almost 15 and a half year old Boston Terrier. She is a two time cancer survivor, survivor for a little over five years now. And about a year and a half ago, she had her leg amputated, um, but she's still getting around a little slower, a little thinner, um, a little more frail. But she is still with us. She's happy and she eats and she loves her treats and her daily car rides that I promised her from the day I found out she had cancer. So, yes, little Miss Ruby is still with us. Yes, you are. Go lay down, baby girl. And go upstairs. Um, okay, let me see if I can get the lid. She's lost. My husband has had to go to the office for the past week because we have no internet service. So, yeah, waiting for that to get fixed. Fun. Uh, so here is, and of course you can do other things with this, but this is what it looks like without the lid. And then you put that down there. You can probably dip it up aside and then do different fun things with it. But yes, perfect for the bathroom, your crafts, uh, maybe put some nails, rubber bands, stuff like that. Little pieces of candy if you wanted. So, yeah, got that. Um, this. My dogs are older, so they're not going to play with these. Although Josie might, but I don't know. She's real finicky. But this is a great brand. Like my husband and my son have the name brand of the spider brand clothes. This is the size small made with non-abrasive felt balls for your dogs. It's a four pack. So I don't know if they have any other sizes at the Dollar Tree, but all the ones that my Dollar Tree had was size small. But yeah, and they are hard, but when Ruby um, was a ball player, she liked the really soft tennis balls. You okay, BB? Do you need help? Let's maybe see her go up. Go on. You gonna go? One, two, three? Maybe not. I'll scoot over so maybe you can see her go up. There she goes. Maybe not. But anyway, keep an eye out for these. These were on the end cap over by the pet stuff and toilet paper. So you never know what you're going to find on those end caps. That's why I love it. Um, also, uh, this. Th th there's only one. One of these teeny tiny 
baskets. So I thought maybe it was like one of the plus items and took it up to the register, rung up for $1.25. They said they'd never seen any others in the store. So I don't know how it got there. It had the Dollar Tree tag on it. So let me know if you saw any of these or have seen them at any of your Dollar Trees. Um, so I think that is really cute. Very rustic and you can do some really fun stuff with this, although it's really small, but still, if you would go, I don't know, with like, I don't know, Matt, uh, Marshall's, TJ Maxx or Home Goods, they might have something like that. And you know darn well, it's not going to be a dollar twenty-five there. Are you stuck, honey? What are you doing? You posing? I think she's thinking like, do I want to go up there? But yeah, that's really cute. I like that. And these, oh my gosh, I know it's weird, but I bought my son-in-law and my two daughters, boyfriends, and my husband, these boxers. These are name brand. These are their, the crazy boxers. So we got the Bud Light Seltzer. And I was able to find this bear. How cool is that? And they're really soft and silky for $1.25. Are you kidding me? I don't think she's going to go up, so let me get back in the middle. Um, but yes, keep an eye out for these. These have found, I found these in two different parts of the Dollar Tree. Over by the socks, and the other ones were over by the, um, like, t-shirts and their handbags. So keep an eye out for those. Those are a great, great deal for those. And these, um, this is a 12-pack of Clorox clothespins with no slip grip. Now, I do hang a lot of my laundry, but I use these drying racks just because I don't want... You're distracting me back there, honey. What's the matter? I don't think she knows if she wants to go up or not. She's... No, I think she's going to come back down. She's like, well, Mommy, you're not up there. I'll be up there in a little bit, baby. Oh, don't fall. Sorry. It's, I know it's distracting, but... Um, but I am not going to use these for that. I'm going to use them for chip clips. A lot of the clips that you buy at the Dollar Tree, um, it's usually in like with the school supplies and that. That's what I use. But I thought this would be a perfect fit for chip clips. They're really nice. They're durable. I bought two packs, so I've already used a pack. So yes, very, very nice. Now, if you're a school teacher and you like to hang things up and you wanted something a little bit better than a wood clip, this would be great to... Um, clip up some of the kids' artwork or whatever. Oh, I miss those days. So I did get a couple packs of those. I am so over gnomes right now. They have just saturated every store with gnomes for everything, except I thought this was cute. They have four different colors and four different designs on their hats. I don't think they had these last year, but don't quote me on that. But I really like the pink one. It has the butterflies on it. Now, another item that you can completely customize and change the color if you want. They had the pink, yellow, green, and blue, and they were on an end cap. So keep an eye out for those. And be sure you check the bottoms as I showed you in the walkthrough. These are hollow and they can break. So just check that before you purchase them. They also have this. This is a bird basket, so you could put the um, block of food in there, and it does come with the chain. Now, my husband won't let me feed the birds because we have issues with birds in the summer. They make their nest in our fan that we have in our gazebo, and they poop on everything. And then the dogs will eat the food that they drop, and then it gives them diarrhea and all that. It's, it's just a vicious cycle. So I am not allowed to feed the birds. Um, but I thought this could be a fun project to do something that I have in mind. And again, it's something that I might do, might not. It might take me a year or two to finally get around to do it. I don't know. But I am trying to change my habits on doing that, and it's stuck. But somehow you fix that because it comes with the hook. It closes. But you could use it like a, it almost looks like a miniature shark cage or something. I'm sorry, but I don't care. I am not going on the ocean. I won't go on a boat. And I sure in the heck isn't going to go in a, uh, a wire cage and have a shark come and plow me. And mm, mm, no, but um, but I do watch Shark Week. I don't know why if that find it fascinated but yeah so. okay moving on these three different colors different kind of weird I don't know 
But this is by eCircuit. This is the USB floating humidifier. Mm -hmm. And it glows. I did not know it glows. They had the black, and I think it was like a pink, and this white one. So the white one, the white, or <laughs> the white one turns green. So you plug it in, you put it on some water, and it shoots out, you know, the mist. Which I guess this would be a great item to take with you if you're traveling. Um, if you wanted to do that, I don't know if you would want to use it in your car because I don't know if it'll spill. But although it's only water, I don't know. But it, it has a, like a little sensor there on the bottom. So uh, we'll see. We shall see. Uh, some of their artwork, I love like boho colors and designs. I'm trying to change some of my decor in the house because it's just the same old, same old. So I'm trying to step outside the box and do other things. But I really did like these prints by Special Moments. Like I said, they are the canvas. Real easy to decorate with and customize if you want to. But I thought those were really, really pretty. So I did grab those. I thought these were a fantastic... Uh, deal they had it in the forks and knives they have it in the black and white these are name brand uh, these are the dixie medium weight fork you get a hundred count so i got it in the black and i got the hundred count in the white you can never have enough plastic flair especially when you have a lot of birthdays in fact i didn't post but my daughter ava she turned 17 on December 22nd. My daughter Gracie turned 22 on December 30th. And my daughter Samantha turned 25 on January 12th. So yeah, oh, and my dad's birthday was January 8th that he was still with us. Um, but yeah, you can never have enough stuff when you have gatherings and parties and all that fun stuff. So, and it comes in a nice box that you can open and close fairly easy. So. Great score on those. Okay, for the animal lovers out there, or you can use these for maybe a stuffed dog. Finally going upstairs, baby. Here she goes. She's going up. So I'm going to lay all these out. I bought every design I could find in the big pet and small pet. So they have the mommy sock and the puppy sock. But again, these will be really cute to share with uh, your little one that have a little stuffed animal like a lovey they can put the little socks on their pets other stuffed animals or even their doll babies if you wanted to so again I'm going to lay these out and show you the different um, sizes and designs that they have by these two companies <laughs> So I thought those were super duper cute. I am not a grandma yet, but when I do find stuff, especially name brand items, I like to pick, a, pick up a couple and I put it in this tote that is marked future baby. So I went ahead and picked up this Passy Grip. Uh, fits all Passies, which we always call them binkies. All five of my kids took binkies. This is the only color they had, but I think it's really cute. So again, I did pick up one for me and an extra one for the mommy to be. Because um, I have four daughters and you just never know. And these I thought were pretty cool. I might not do anything, but just hang these on the wall or anything. They do have them in two different colors. And these are the three-piece heart-shaped rings really like wreath rings so they have this taupe color and they have the pink so again you can do something completely different with these you can cut them apart and do something else you can hang them on the wall hang them from the ceiling and different you know heights and lengths and all that so 
thought those were pretty cool. Also, I am glad that they came back with these. I think these are a little bit bigger than last year. Could be wrong, but I just love the, the feel of these. These are their flocked Easter eggs. You can hang them from your tree, ceiling, or do something completely different. Um, but I got the yellow, pink, and green. They also had it in the blue. Uh, but the pink one, I do have an idea for. Um, I actually had the idea last year, and I got the stuff already, and I just never did it. So I'm going to force myself to do it this year and show you what I plan on using with this pink egg. So, yeah. Oh, and they have a bunch of their storage containers again. Um, they always have new colors each year. So I picked up this green, a couple of different shapes and sizes. They're not real sturdy, but I mean, for the most part, for $1.25, I think it's pretty good. So if you wanted to put your flocked eggs in there, you can put your flocked eggs in there or whatever fits in there. And, you know, a few different colors. Hey, Joey. Of course, she's snoring in the window as usual. Things just never change, do they? Um... These are so cute. This would be perfect for Christmas. So I know we just had Christmas, but you gotta just think ahead. These are their little candy shape containers. It's a five piece with the candy shape. And you know how you like decorate your tree or that with the candy theme or whatever? How cute would those be? How cute would those be to hang on your Christmas tree? Or you could, came prepared, I know, scary. How cute would these be to customize and put um, a name on them, hang them on the tree or whatever, because they do come apart like that. Or if you didn't want to use it all in one, you can take, um, let's say this piece of wood and just take that half and you can glue it down and do some kind of artwork with it. You can use the little ball and you can use it as a Rudolph nose or something. So just just don't think you have to keep it this way or put candy in it. No, you can wrap some twine or some fish line. You can hang it from the ceiling, different, you know, whatever, and decorate them. I think that would be so cute. But, yes, I definitely bought these for Christmas time. And I will put it in the box that's marked Christmas. Okay, moving on. This. This is the uh, yarn storage container by Crafter Square. They had it in this taupe color. Now, what I found interesting okay but I'm sure you can use it for something else if you wanted to but look I think you might pull the yarn through there and then you loop it on there I mean I have some of this cord that I bought at oh my gosh I don't even know how long ago I bought this from I think it was before Christmas yeah, it was way before Christmas, but I wonder if, if I put that in there, if it would go through the little hole. I'm not sure. I'm thinking that's how you do it. Don't quote me. Don't know, but I'll try it. Why not? Okay. Got this for my daughter. They have it in three different colors. This is their makeup brush and it's in the shape of a rose. Look how cute that is. So I'm going to take it out. Let's see how, ooh. Smell it, of course, because I gotta smell it. That is really soft. Ooh. Do I look fancy? Do I look like I know what I'm doing? Absolutely not. But that is really cute. I like that. But yes, look how. Oh, if you can just feel that. Oh, so cute. Okay. Um, okay, what else? Oh, this. This is their table scatter. You get a 60 piece, but you get a lot of different shapes in there. So they have the red lips, they have the diamonds and hearts. So those are really cute. You can use them for base fillers as well or glue them to different art projects that you have. I also wanted, I think these are parachute hearts. Um, it's a 10 count party favors ages three and up. And I figured, you know what? I'm just going to buy them and I'm going to uh, try it. But I'm pretty sure they have some good weight to them, too. So, okay. So, I believe I am correct. I just wanted to open it and see how. Okay. Interesting. Oh, look, it's got a little smiley face. 
So of course I am going to demonstrate this and show you, I'll take it outside maybe because yeah, it's not going to work in here, but yeah. So that is what that looks like. Very interesting. And they all look like they have smiley faces. So they're happy parachuters. Um, bought a couple of their carrots. This is a two pack. They did have them in multiple colors. So I got it in the orange and the yellow. A lot of fun stuff you can do with these. So I'll go ahead and open that right there. You can pose them next to different rabbits if you wanted to. Oh, they really do stick together, don't they? Kind of in a way. You can use them as ears or things. I'll decorate some some of the shelves and that with that. Oh, this. This is a 20 ounce bag of Luxury Carpet Freshener Odor Eliminator. Now, I'm not a usually a huge fan of sprinkling stuff on my rugs. I do have a little bit of carpet in the house. I just have it on the stairs, hallway, and in the bedrooms. Otherwise, the whole downstairs is either tile or wood floor. Um, but this is removes toughest odors with uh, the formulated powder with rich fragrance to eliminate odors and leaves fresh scent. So I have to smell it because I'm very curious. Um, like I said, I'm one of the weirdos that likes to smell things. Hmm. I don't. I, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. But I prefer the kitty litter odorizer, odor thingy over this. I mean, it's not bad. And it looks like salt. Eh, I don't know if I'll use that or not. If not, I'll give it to my daughters. Maybe they'll use it. Um, what else? Oh, this. Is this new or is it just new packaging? I don't know. But this is the Power Oxygen Base Cleaner 15 ounce uh, bottle. Now, the older kind of the awesome stuff they had, I swear by it. I love. Oh, jeez. Don't stick your nose in that. Whew, it smells like chlorine. I'm a, oh. Wow. Do not sniff it. Mm. But I, well, it says chlorine free and I just referenced it as it's, it does smell like chlorine though, but that's interesting. But this stuff, I don't know if this does, but I know the awesome stuff that they had. I have been buying it for 10 plus years and I swear by that, that gets out my son's uh, uh, grass stains out of his baseball uniform and blood. It, amazing stuff. So I'll have to try that, but beware, do not sniff it. Um, some of their uh, fairy stuff they have this year. I thought this one was really cute. They had a few different ones, but I think the little tree house with the face is a little creepy, but pretty cool. And it has the little mushrooms on there, like little stairs. So of course, I had to get that one because of the mushrooms. Yeah, got that. Uh, oh, I am glad I bought these when they had them for $1.25. This is the normal size bag, 10 ounce. Um, and then like a week or two later, they have a mark for $3.50, I do believe. So these are the Swedish fish jelly beans. I've never had them. My kids used to love the, the jelly fish. Let me see what it tastes like. I normally don't eat candy. Um, I don't know. Kind of tastes like floor cleaner or something. I don't like that. Maybe my kids will, but it just reminds me that I don't eat candy very much anymore. Um, this, I forgot to haul this a while ago, but I still see it off and on at my store. These are the chalk sticks with holder. It's a 13 piece set. Not too shabby for $1.25, is it? Let's see. Ooh, water. Oh, there you got a piece of chalk in it. Or did someone return that? That's interesting. Oh, and it has a, um, a magnet on there. Cool. And it's just chalk. Nothing too fancy with that. So that's interesting. 
Um, picked up a 12 ounce bottle of the Yes to Cucumbers Daily Gentle Toner with Witch Hazel to Soothe Sensitive Skin. Let's see what this smells like. Now that I have chlorine up my nostrils and my mouth tastes like floor cleaner, let's just add to all the different other senses and see what this smells like. Ew. Well, I guess it does smell like cucumber. It smells like a picnic cucumber thing. I don't know. My daughter will use this kind of weird stuff. I just stick with my simple Noxzema. I'm happy with that. I think I showed you everything. I'm pretty sure. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Oh, and I know some of you still had questions. I am still working on the bracelets that I make and then all my keychains. These are all the keychains I made last week. I still have to, uh, well, they're like the wristlets. I still got to add different charms to them. Some of them I got, most of them done. I've been working on the Valentine's ones and penguin and football and oh my gosh I just have a lot of different ones I'm just still working on but I am still doing that I will I am I'll do it in a separate video to announce something but I'm not going to do it right now because I'm running out of time but um but yeah I'm still working on that kind of stuff it's been helping me mentally and physically and emotionally working on the stuff list like this so um but yeah that is everything that I bought at my Dollar Tree so I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your local stores so if you enjoyed this video and you love watching my channel please give it a thumbs up and be sure you subscribe if you haven't already if you want to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'll link that down below. As always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my videos. I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Keep smiling. Ah! <laughs>